Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. Thank you guys so much for coming over. Y'all know I truly appreciate you guys. And if you guys are new to this channel, welcome on in, man. Thank y'all for stopping by. Wow. So, <laughs> my wife told me the other day about a lady who got Gorilla Glue stuck in her head. Now, for those who don't know, I've worked in retail for over... 15 years the reason i'm bringing this up is because i've sold i can't even <laughs> i've sold so much gorilla glue to customers now i don't know the situation with this lady as far as if you know she walked in the store and or she tried to order it online i don't know but you know i'm not blaming the person who sold it to her i'm just saying that's why a lot of times in customer service, they teach you to ask questions, you know, in order to even sell add-on products. So, I mean, the first thing I would ask her is what is she using, what is she using this for? You know, that could have all been prevented right there. Not to say she wouldn't have went home and still did the same damn thing. Cause you know, a lot of times with uh, wigs and stuff, a lot of wigs have glue in them. So I don't know if she, um, you know, thought that was a good idea because, you know, the wigs have glue so I can use it. Um, man, but we're going to check this video out again, man. I don't know who've all seen this, but if you have, thanks for watching it with me. So let's jump right into it. This woman is in a very sticky situation. She ran out of hairspray and used something that may shock you. I use this. Gorilla glue spray. You heard right. Busted. The same gorilla oh, super glue. Wait, so it was on her head in that picture? Cause that I mean it it is like super duper slick, like like almost look like it's painted on her head. You know, cause when when people come in in a store to buy glue, you know, especially gorilla glue, it's like hey. I broke my vase or something. I'm trying to stick it back together. In in my backyard, I've been living in this house for I believe like 11 something years. But in my backyard, I did like this edging work where I have like about maybe about 25 feet of edging. One layer on the ground and that other layer on top that's held by Gorilla Glue. And it's been up, it, they ain't moved in 11 years. So I'm just trying to figure out what was going on in her brain to think that using this glue, you know, was a, was a good idea. I mean, you see the commercials. It even says it on the, the, it says it on there, you know, like all the stuff like do not use. I mean, she lucky she didn't get it in her eye from those wacky commercials. Gorilla spray adhesive for the toughest jobs on planet Earth. Now, Tessica Brown has big regrets. Bad, bad, bad idea. Y'all, look, my hair, it don't move. Damn. You know what I'm it don't move. I've washed my hair 15 times and it don't move. What have you used to try to get it out? Um, we did the baby oil, we did cooking oil, olive oil. She also tried washing it out with shampoo. Nothing got rid of the glue. So Tessica posted this video on TikTok, hoping for advice. Instead, she was ridiculed. A gorilla glue woman. <laughs> Dumbest girl on the face of the earth. Tessica even sought medical treatment at her local emergency room in Louisiana, but couldn't tolerate the burning of the acetone wipes they gave her. What is your Damn. biggest fear? I'm going to lose my hair. You might have to. Gorilla Glue says they're sorry, but says their product should never be used on hair. I mean, and then I heard, I heard she's trying, trying to sue as well. Uh, again, man, it says it on air. Not only that, I'm I'm more concerned about like, like she was saying losing her hair. But I mean, you might lose some of your damn scalp. You know what I mean? 
Because, like, it's one thing for someone to be like, oh, I, I'm going to just have to cut this all off. But, I'm, I mean, the way it was, like, on there, like, I'm wondering if even if you take clippers to that, is it going to take some of her scalp off? That is crazy, man. But, like I said, if I don't know where, what store she went into, but um, I always try to make it a point when... A customer approach me I try to sell them the whole product the whole project you know so if she came up to me and said said like where's your Gorilla Glue um, the first thing I'm gonna ask her is what are you gonna be using it for because there's different types of Gorilla Glue you have like an extra strength you have one for wood um, for like metal I believe it's 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 different ones for you know, depending on how strong the hold is that you need. You know, when most people, when they come up to you, you know, you say, how's it going today? And then they tell you, oh, I broke this. I need something really strong to hold it together where it won't move again. You know, so if you about to put that in your head, but then again, she could have walked into a store, just grabbed it and left. But, you know, you go, this stuff is only sold in like, I mean, not only sold, but the sections you get it from is like hardware, you know, you know what I mean? Um, or like paint department, stuff like that. Like they won't have this next to beauty supply. So that's where I'm confused at, you know? I'm just, I'm hoping because I don't know the woman. I don't know her. I'm just hoping this ain't, uh, 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 what do you call it? A clout chasing situation gone bad. You know, because then it, it's hard to feel sorry for people if they know what they're doing. But you you never, like, I don't think she knew it would get to that. It, even if she was doing this on purpose, I don't think she would think that it would get to that level. You know what I mean? She probably thought I could wash it out real quick. No, no. And then water makes it even worse. It helps the, the bond. Damn, man. That sucks. That really do. That really, really sucks. Cause I mean it I mean her head is like they literally look like someone. You know how women shave their eyebrows off and then they draw them on? That's what it looks like. That really sucks. But I, I just don't don't I just really hope she wasn't trying to do some like clout because you never know, man. It's twenty twenty one. You can't put it past nobody. You know what I mean? There's certain people that mess it up for other people. You know, like the what they say, the boy who cried wolf. You you just don't know anymore how, how it is. But at the same time, I don't think she would have thought it would have gotten to this level. But that's pretty damn crazy, man. Wow. All right, man. I want to check this out with you guys again. Thank you guys for watching. If you've seen it already... But yeah, this is definitely, I, she can't sue though. There's no way. There's no way she going to sue. If any damn thing, she should be trying to get a sponsor from them. <laughs> Boy, man. All right, going to stop the video right there. Thank you guys so much for watching. Peace out.